is the image of the invisible God. We, it is the image in which we are. What does it mean? It means that when Jesus Christ becomes this, uh, uh, when he came into the world, when he rose, when he was raised from the uh, from the grave, he, he became the representative of God in righteousness. So a son of God, he, uh, the image of God in perfection, Labahaya. So the son or uh, the, the image of God in holiness. So meaning uh, Jesus is the image of God in holiness. He is the image of righteousness of God. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Hallelujah. I, I want to make this declaration upon your life that your life can never be uh, can never be hidden again. Why? Because you are under the power of his resurrection. When a person comes into Christ, that person changes things. The Bible has told us told that something clearly to say that when a person comes into Christ, who is God, uh, all things become old. All things that that were old are past, and behold, all things becomes new. So, meaning there is no demon that can hinder your life, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you are listening me from, whatever you are watching me from, from I make this declaration upon your life that there will be no demon on, uh, over this planet that shall rise upon your life and shall prevail. Why? Because the Bible tells us but that, uh, that all things are, are yours through Christ who has given us victory. So meaning when Christ comes upon your life, things are changes in your life. When Christ comes into your life, you are no longer a, ch- a, a same person again. The Bible tells us that but ye are more than conquerors. But that ye are more than conquerors. Meaning there is none, there is nothing upon this planet, upon the, upon other planets that can separate you from the love of God. From the love that Christ has with you, has for you. You know the Bible tells us that when a person comes into Christ, all things changes when like for instance if you're not if you if you if you were not seen the reason why you were you are living when you come into Christ your eyes begins to open up your mind begins to show, to show to receive the glory of his of his purpose the Bible tells us that if any person comes into him that if any person comes into Christ Jesus hallelujah when when, when a person comes into him when a person comes into Christ whether he is free whether he is a slave that person become a son of God. So meaning you are the son of Jesus. If Jesus is powerful, then you are powerful.